Hello audience. Today on Joey's Chapels we'll be witnessing the sheer military genius of Fort Pemberton. Fort Pemberton, a large five-sided confederate fort built in 1862 by, by John C. Pemberton, it is considered to be one of the largest confederate forts on the east coast. This fort was massive. 400 feet wide by 350 feet long. This thing could take a full frontal assault by the Union from the Stone River. This fort was actually one of the most heavily armed forts on the East Coast. I mean, it had everything. I mean, we're talking two 10 inch Colombians, two 8 inch guns, two 42 PDR guns, two rifled 32 PDRs, four 32 PDR smooth bores, two 18 PDR guns, and two rifled 12. PDR, PRS. This thing, it's like John C. Pemberton had this weird fetish with guns. It's like, I don't know. So how many cannons do you need? All of them! Every last one. Fort Pemberton was an earthwork fort, which means that its walls were made out of earth instead of brick and, and wood. This was for protection and camouflage so the Union ships couldn't see Fort Pemberton as they were coming up the Stone River. Union ships are just coming up the river. You know, I don't know. Everything seems fine. You're gonna die! You think the people at Fort Pemberton had the same gun fetish that John C. Pemberton had? It's possible. Fort Pemberton was actually one of the only Confederate forts. Actually, it was the only Confederate fort on James Island. This is Fort Pemberton in relation to the School of the Arts. Unfortunately, Fort Pemberton never actually saw any action in the Civil War because the Union never actually attacked from the Stone River. So eventually, all of its cannons were taken away and put into Charleston Harbor where, where they could actually be useful. You hear that, Mr. Pemberton? Your gun fetish was useless! Actually, it wasn't really because because of M Mr. Pemberton's gun fetish, the Union actually stayed away from the Stone River because they didn't want to get blown up by Fort Pemberton. 